So all you need to do is just two 90 degree brackets right here on either side of the post and then just attach it. And there you go. You can slide it in and out or you can just use the pre-existing holes to, to raise it or lower it. So you can do that. You don't have to do what I'm doing right now. That's a serious bracket right there. So this is what we're going to be using to uh, attach the wheelbase to the actual uh, steel here. This can slide back and forth. This right here can slide up and down. Both of these can tilt whatever way they need to. See now you can see how I'm going to attach the wheelbase. Um, these are all on sliders as well. So they all have a lot of room for adjustment and they have a little bit of side to side play too since it's 8 millimeter and these are 6 millimeter screws. So yeah, I'm just going to mount them on the insides of these brackets and they can rotate 100% you know, freely. So I'll show you when that's done. Well here she be. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Got my power cable mounted to this so if you trip on this or pull on this it won't pull out of the, the jack here. I tried to keep it out of the way of my knees as much as possible. So I routed most of the things actually in the channel itself and then I tucked everything else back through this hole. Same with the uh, the pedal cable here. So it's pretty much as low profile as, as it can get. You can see here how I have the, uh, the pedals attached. I have it right at the edge. I can go further with this but this is as a, this, I like them close a little bit, but you can see now, now there's like, it's way lower to the ground. And I also have them more vertical. Welcome to the cockpit. This is 100% my design. I didn't copy this from anyone else. It's how the, the wheelbase is attached to the bottom. Uh, tons of, of knee room. Like I said, now, now I can do heel toe without having to worry about hitting my, my calf here. I don't know if you can notice, it was ripped from here to here, and I actually did these stitches here. So you can't really notice that much, but you can kind of see like that's that's where I started, and that's where I ended. It's kind of cool though. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Flat left, 50, turn six right of a crest, six left, 50. Flat middle of a crest, 80, keep middle of a jump, 50, four right narrow, 80. Keep middle of a jump. 50. Six left of a jump long. Tightens of a crest jump. 120. Keep right into five left long. Narrow over bump. Into six right. 80. For the long crest into six left. Tightens past junction. 30. Four right narrow over crest. Don't cut five left. Opens long into six left. 30. Four right long, tightens of a crest, 50. Don't cut four left, into six right, into six left long, 30. Six right of a crest, opens extra, extra long, into slow, six left long of a bump, into three right of a crest, bump, into four left long, into turn one right, opens long, tarmac. Don't cut through bales, keep right of a 30, turn, one right. Opens of a crest, gravel, 50, five left. Into flat right of a crest, opens long, tightens of a jump, into five left of a crest, tightens very long, into six right, 50. Four right, extra long, opens flat of a crest, into six left. Into six right, into caution, five left of a jump, 50. Six left, very long, tightens of a bump, 50. Four right long. Into slow, six left of a press, 30, turn, one left, don't cut, 30. Six left, 100. Three right long, tightens, logs outside, opens of a crest, 50. Tight, six left of a crest, extra, extra long of a junction, 30. Keep middle of a jump, into three left long tightens, 80. Flat right of a crest, extra, extra long, 30. Three 
White Long opens 80. Five left of a crest, extra long, caution tightens three. Into four right long. Into four left. Into four right, don't cut. 120. Crest, into five left tightens. Into four right long, over junction, middle. Six left, extra, extra long. 170. Caution, five right long, tightens four. Slow 50, turn unseen, one right. Opens, extra long of a crest, 160 of a bumps. Four left, extra, extra long, tightens turn, five left. Opens, 80. Four left at bail, don't cut. 30. Turn unseen, two left around bail, cobbles. Don't cut three right, three left, and one right tightens around bail, cobbles. 30. One right, don't cut two left. 40. Turn two left around bail, tarmac. 160. Over finish. 50. To stop. Okay, let's see what we got, 13, 750, so I mean it's still pretty good, I can't believe someone did 21 seconds better than I did, I can't, I can't imagine making up 21 seconds <laughs> on that stage, wet, anyway, so some things that I've noticed about the rig, racing uh, and doing what I do, the entire thing feels way more rigid. Like, I don't feel flex anywhere, like side to side. When I'm turning aggressively, up up and down movement, I don't, I don't feel that at all. I, I used to with, with the last setup. Um, I do feel flex with this, and the plate it's attached to is actually a next level racing attachment. And, and it's, it's steel, and it's kind of flexy by itself. So, you know, if I were to move it back and forth, there's flex, but you know if, I, I'm, if I'm trying to move it up and down, the only flex I get is, is from the steel plate itself, not the actual extrusion it's connected to. I did try racing with the H-pattern shifter, and I was able to do heel-toe without touching my calf on the side pillar here. But uh, yeah, like I can't hit my knees on anything. Like it's impossible unless I actually try. Like you know, I, I can't, I can't physically move my body to, to make my knees hit. I noticed that the actuators were not struggling at all. I feel like the, the, the wheelbase pillars, you know, this, this whole addition might be a similar weight or maybe even heavier, but the fact that it's more evenly distributed weight-wise, I think it, it makes it to where it's easier on the actuators. The pedal mounting area that I kind of built up right there, it's way lighter and it feels way better, way more solid. Another thing I noticed is the pedal tray area does not squeak at all anymore. You, you notice. I'm moving around like in older videos, even the slightest little movement would go and I knew it was the pedal tray because when I lifted up the pedal tray to try to figure out what the noise was, the noise stopped. And I, I could have put some like rubber or some kind of a in-between barrier, you know, so that the steel isn't rubbing together, but I just didn't want to do that. The whole thing was heavy anyway, so I figured why not make my own and then take one step closer to a full aluminum extrusion rig. As it stands right now. This is how I'm going to be running it. There are some, there are a few gear changes that I'm, I'm planning. So stay tuned for that. Do a review on it. I'm going to be the first, I think, in the world to review the product. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited. So I'll include like all the parts I used, like all the measurements. So if you got a ProSimu T1000, doesn't matter if you got a 2M, 3M, 15M, doesn't matter. These modifications will work with your rig. You know, they're all, all the same frame, all the same chassis, except for the aluminum version. So I hope this helped you in your journey to building the perfect rig. Have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.